Hello and very warm welcome to Asian English Academy. I am Raju Giri, the tutor and instructor of English language. Today I am going to give you 38 pair of words you can see on the screen. Uh, so it's my 38th birthday. Thank you so much for your very most precious words of blessings and wishes to me. I am too much thankful to you all. On this occasion as gift, I am going to give you 38 pair of words. So there are simple and advanced words from 1 to 38. So you can uh, learn the words here and make your English more standard. Okay. So uh, word number one here is beautiful. Okay. You can see beautiful there. Beautiful hair means aesthetic. Okay. So avoid using simple words and try to use more advanced words that's aesthetic instead of saying beautiful you can say aesthetic okay so number two we use sociable sociable if you are friendly you are sociable number three is poor for poor we say destitute if you are poor you are destitute so these are the synonyms and you avoid using simple words they are very childish so number four is outcome for outcome result you can uh, say consequence as your standard word and for interesting is captivating very famous word captivating very interesting word too for spread you say disseminate okay you may be spreading so many books inside your uh, bedroom you are disseminating the books okay so let's check again beautiful aesthetic and friendly sociable poor destitute outcome consequence interesting captivating spread disseminate so these are the six words i gave you and the rest are yet to come so try to avoid using simple and try to use more advanced words so number seven is reduce reduce as simple mitigate advanced so to mitigate the problem means to reduce the problem reduce deduct or let's say a decrease we use mitigate so number eight is ranking for ranking we say hierarchy to be advanced so what's your position in the hierarchy of your office so you may be boss you may be manager or anything like that so for strong you use formidable formidable for strong okay uh, instead of strong you use formidable okay so for lazy it's lethargic lethargic okay avoid using lazy and try using lethargic so he is very much lethargic that he does nothing whole day so moving is kinetic kinetic is the word that's from bodily movement so kinetic if you are moving you are kinetic kinetic people learn from physical you know movement and unclear is opaque if that is unclear if that is vague if that's not transparent we use the word opaque okay so these are the words from 7 to 12 so let's check again reduce mitigate ranking hierarchy strong formidable lazy lethargic moving kinetic unclear opaque so these are the words up to 12 so my suggestion again i am stressing you that try to use more advanced words okay avoid using childish word if you are just a beginner that's okay but if you want to you know make your language more standard you have to learn more advanced word so number 14 here is angry for angry we say furious if you are very angry you are furious and you may hit anywhere sad is heartbroken if you are very sad you are heartbroken so that uh, you know you you don't like to do anything and you are in pain so number 15 16 is annoyed annoyed here means irritated sometimes because of whistling sound you feel irritated okay and that's you are annoyed embarrassed is very bad you are feeling embarrassed means you are feeling very bad that's awkward okay instead of using embarrassed you use awkward happy cheery sorry 
apologize instead of saying sorry you can say i apologize to you okay don't forget the pronunciation it's not apologize it's apologize okay the correct pronunciation is apologize you use apologize instead of so saying sorry so let's check it again angry furious sad heartbroken annoyed irritated embarrassed awkward happy cheery sorry apologize so these are the words up to 19 uh, we have still uh, 19 words left it's my 38th birthday that's why i am giving you 38 pairs of words they are from simple and more advanced okay so you can learn them you try to make your own sentence from these you know more advanced types of words so number 22 here is help instead of using help you use assist okay tell inform confused perplexed slow sluggish shiny gleaming it's lightning scared petrified worried anxious stupid idiotic so these are the words help assist tell inform if you are telling something you are informing if you are helping you are assisting someone confused if you are very much confused you are perplexed you cannot decide anything so shiny hair is gleaming with the focusing light so scared or horrified is petrified you use petrified as your new word and uh, try to use in your daily communication so worried here is anxious stupid is idiotic if you are very stupid you are an idiot you are idiotic the, the, that's the adjective for it you know uh, showing the quality that's very bad quality so help assist tell inform confuse petri uh, perplex slow sluggish shiny gleaming scared petrified worried anxious stupid idiotic these are the words up to 29 okay so we have nine words left and they are coming very soon okay from 31 it's great okay great here means terrific clever means intelligent fancy means lavish quite means quite here means uh host calm is serene okay if you are calm if you are peaceful you are serene so is illustrate important crucial great terrific clever intelligent fancy lavish you may sometimes have lavish party quiet here means host calm is serene so is illustrate important is crucial okay so can you guess what is the last pair of word so that's very big and for very big that is gigantic okay gigantic is for very big that's at the end so while editing the last pair of words are not seen clearly here so these are the words i try to give you as my birthday present try to learn all the pairs try to avoid using simple words and use more standard words instead so these are the things i try to give you so don't forget to like comment and subscribe my channel if you subscribe you will be the first to see any video that's related to learning english okay boosting your english up to higher level so once again thank you very much for your uh, very pure words and it's goodbye